Alright, what's going on, Forgotten Nation? I'm your host, FG, and welcome back to some more Runner 3. Last we left off, we were collecting some of the Hero Medallions, or the Hero Medals for short. And luckily, it looks like we're about halfway through. We got some of the starting ensemble characters, but we got more to go. So, up next, we're going to continue our time in Spooky Land, as we have another medal to collect there. And the next one we got looks like it's Charles Martinez's Hero Medallion. And once again, this is thanks to Qlex64. So it looks like it's stage 2 6. The wording way play through the checkpoint. Keep on the normal path, you'll take a jump pad. When you land, there will be two kickboards. Around the second one, you'll be able to switch lanes to the right to access the secret one. So there's a large question mark in the background, but you'll have to switch lanes before you can get up to where you can really see it properly. So, it looks like we gotta be quick about this. So, yeah, so it looks like we gotta stay within the normal path and two kickboards after the checkpoint. So, we'll have to watch out for that. I get the feeling this one's gonna come pretty fast. The wording way. So, normal path, I suppose that means the gold run. Usually I favor the gem route, but let's just stick with gold this time. So, two... What was it, uh... Two boards you gotta kick, I suppose. So we gotta get ready for the second one to really put your finger on it. But first off, we do need to get to that checkpoint. So let's do it. Right after the loading screen. Yeah, right, I remember the stage. Yeah, this is the stage that had all the letters in the background. I should really look up what those words mean, because they seem pretty fancy as far as my extent of uh, basic uh, language. Because I don't know if I'd ever use those words. Like that one back there, vacuity? What does it mean? Is it like some sort of secret meaning behind them, or is it just fun words? Like, maybe I can see Charles Martinet saying them, but I don't know. Alright, so we just gotta get to the checkpoint. Alright, here's the checkpoint. So stay in the normal path, and there's like two things to kick, I suppose it was meant to say. Over here. Hmm. Nothing. Huh. That was it, right? It says... Hold on. Large question mark in the background. You have to switch lanes before you can really see it properly. Hmm. And it's one of the more trickier sections. Uh, I guess keep her eyes open, but I was on the right path, it seems. So, where is this then? Because right. I know that was the two what's its. Hey, Devin. But I didn't see a, a question mark in the background, so maybe it is further ahead. Plus, it says it's one of the trickier ones. Alright, let's just keep going, though. Oh, okay, there we go. So, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, wow, it really is going fast. Okay, so it's on that boardwalk section. Yeah, alright. Why am I not surprised that Charles Martinez's medallion is the hardest one? I don't know. Alright, so now we know where it is, but wow, that looks pretty tricky, actually. 
Alright, so we can do it. What a kick dent! Oh, let's just go back. It does suck that this one's actually further away from the checkpoint. I don't know, I kinda like to be like in a closer proximity, especially if it's something they gotta keep repeating because of how difficult it is. Eh, I guess they are hard to collect for a reason. Alright, so let's keep going. I'm just glad that once you get the collectible, you don't have to uh, complete the stage. That would make things much harder. Alright. So, get ready. Okay, here we go again. It's gonna come fast. Yep, yeah, really fast! Not even time to switch between the two enemies. Wow! Alright, just get back to it. I guess you could say getting to it isn't hard, but doing it is hard. You know that I just thought of now that I really didn't think about earlier on during the playthrough? Those eyeballs seem a lot like the logo from uh, Jacksepticeye. I mean, it's got the color green, it's got the eyeball. Yeah, it actually is pretty close to Jacksepticeye's, uh, <laughs> his, uh, eyeball logo. I wonder if that's intentional or if it's just a reference. I never really thought of it till now. Because I always picture them as the meteors because of the other games I've played. And in some ways, they essentially are meteors. I do wish though that this game had the inclusion of the beat system, and the way that Commander Video had a shield that resembled the paddle from uh, Bitrip Beats. That's the one thing I think they should have at least brought back, because that would have made his core ensemble of abilities. And really, a lot of abilities from a runner 2 were pretty much abandoned. And the new direction they took with this game overall, I can't say I was a fan of. Alright, so get ready, it's gonna come again. Alright, so speedy section. Yeah, it's that right here. So you gotta be able to kick it, but jump at the same time. Because I don't think you could kick... Well, kick... Hmm. I don't know, this is pretty tricky. I think the best way to approach this is to kick with the left Joy-Con, and then jump with the right Joy-Con. Because you're not going to be able to move your fingers fast enough, I suppose. So if you kick with one, and then jump with the other, but then it's all a matter of uh, force falling. I don't know, this is a pretty tricky one. Alright, let's just do it again. Alright, here we go. Oh, and we got Charles Martinet. Wow, that was a hard one. All right, so after Charles Martinet, it looks like we have stage two seven. We're going for Frankenstein again. Q like sixty four. That's a common name. He found a lot of these, but looks like the next stage over two seven. Bound by law. Play through till you get to the checkpoint. Immediately after the checkpoint, there will be a split path. There's actually a secret third path above the other two, which you can access by moving to the left. Hmm. Oh, no, I remember this stage. So, to the checkpoint, and then split path. Two wooden platforms get to the medallion. And real fast, I need to do something real fast. I'm being yelled at from downstairs. Again, guys, as I mentioned in an earlier episode, there is no such thing as noise reduction in my room. 
And not only do I hear the family downstairs, they also hear me. Please support the channel. Alright, so this one's actually a little confusing. So after the checkpoint, a secret third path above the other two. So based on that, I'm going to say it's on the far left. So I'll just have to keep our eyes open, I suppose. So let's go for it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, let's go. Yep, we got our friend the bookworm. So actually, this isn't the stage I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be one that's like the four different paths after the, uh, I wanna call it the shoe. But no, this is the, the bookworm. All right. The high route. All right, we got the mechanites again. So, just gotta get to the checkpoint, so let's take this route, even though that's a little harder than the gem route. Alright. Stay low. Alright, so here's the checkpoint. So it says the favored left, I suppose, that there's a third route. What? Right, the gem route's on. Okay, that's gonna. So, do this. There we go! Oh, wow! Wow, is that precise! Okay, okay, we do it. So it's gonna make me auto object to the right, so then we just gotta go to the left. But wow, is that precise. And the camera angle's not helping either. Alright, so it's gonna direct me that way, so I gotta go left. This is gonna take a while. Alright. Okay, so I guess once I land on the other one, I have to double jump wait and then well actually I don't know now so just jump here double jump what am I am I jumping too soon maybe all right try it again try it again all right so just jump here all oh, I don't know maybe it's I don't get what gives all right so auto direct me over here go to left so just jump here Double die! Why? Why? If only Commander video were more floaty. See, I'm not making it. What am I doing that I'm not making it? Alright. There it is. And the metal's right there. Alright, so... Just because those two jumps, that metal wasn't too bad. Alright, so, once again, thanks to QLX64, and this next one's also QLX64. It looks like Eddie Riggs is next, and the stage is, huh, the next one right away. It really goes, like, stage after stage. So, parallel, peril, there's a car section at the start of the level. During it, you want to drop down the very first gap that opens up. And it looks like there's obstacles you gotta dodge. So, it's kind of like the first one we went for. So we're just going to choose the gold run, so we have to force ourselves down right away. So, alright. Shouldn't be too bad. Wait for it. Considering that I haven't played a single retro stage yet, I've been looking forward to it. And I'm... Probably today, with this record session, I might start the little half of it at the beginning, because from what I've heard, that they are on the short side, but they're pretty difficult. Especially the later stages. But that's just what I've heard. Alright, so the first. There. Oh, wow. 
I don't know, that doesn't seem too bad. That wasn't too bad. That was almost nothing. Uh, Eddie Riggs, everyone. Alright, I get the feeling that that's the... Yes, yeah, so now we're going to Machine Land. So, we already got Sandbot, stage 3-2. So, luckily that was good. And it looks like uh, Keelix64 found another one again with the uh, 3-6. Maniacal Mechanical. So, after the checkpoint, you'll enter a plane segment. Oh, no, it's the plane segment. After the two circular doors, you'll enter the room with the black and yellow platforms either side of you. Immediately after these walls end, dive straight down to find a medallion. Hmm. I feel like that might be tricky. Machine land. Alright. I suppose we can do it. Doesn't seem like it's too bad. I don't know. I'm a little concerned now. So, after the two circular doors, go all the way down. I suppose. Alright. All right, here we go. We're gonna stick to the gem. Maniacal, mechanical. Maniacal. I don't know why I had trouble pronouncing that. All right, let's get it. What's that you found? I wish I could tell you. All right, wait for it. All right, here we go. So after the plane segment. If there's one thing I can't say that Runner 3 does good, it's pretty memorable in, ta in terms of the stage layout. Bleh. But yeah, the stages themselves are memorable. But do I like them? That's a mixed bag. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. Because that is one thing that does have over Runner and Runner 2, is that the stages are all unique, so you will be able to remember them. But after a while, some of the stages that you don't like... I don't know. I just wish there was more stages in this game is all I'm saying, I suppose. Because they are unique, they are interesting. If anything though, they're on the long side especially. Because some of them go on for a good two minutes each, if not all of them. Whereas there was a good variety in Runner and Runner 2 where some are short, some are long. So it felt like that the harder stages, you actually earned the right to complete them as opposed to having to keep doing segment after segment in this one. Okay, so after the yellow circular door, hold down. Whoa. Oh, that probably wasn't it, was it? Couldn't have been. I might have to check out the guide again. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, circular door. Watch out for the meteors. Oh, there it is! Uh, okay, we got the robot one. What was that? Uh, what was his name again? The Defector. Honestly, that's one of the most forgettable characters in the game, I'm being honest. Sure, it's based on the enemy designs, but... I don't know, it just feels forgettable. And then it looks like we're finally down to the last medallion, and fittingly, it's on the last stage, too. So, the last is Shovel Knight. Once again, Keelix 64. You are a miracle worker. The fact that you found so many of these medals before anyone else and that you helped contribute to the guide. Thank you so much for that, Culex. But anyways, the last one. So, heavy medals play through to the last boom box. After taking one jump pad, skip the next one and do a big double jump towards the white wall there. And there's a pretty small section. Alright. So, we're gonna stick to the gem route. And remember, this is where we see Timbletot in the background. I'm so surprised at how huge he is compared to the other games. And while I do like the design he has here, I think it's more fitting in terms of the Runner 3 universe. 
I don't know about the size. Especially in terms of continuity. Maybe it works? Alright, uh, but let's just get to him. So, the last stage... I guess you can say it's a hard stage, but... I don't know. I feel like other games... Runner Runner 2 especially, had much harder final stages. Especially the first picture of Runner. I remember the Gauntlet being one of the harder ones. Alright, let's get in the shoe. The bubbler shoe. Take that middle section, because why not? There we go. Tim the Strees, Earth Lurching. Alright, moving forward. Okay, of course we're gonna take the checkpoints. Ah, uh, yeah, there's Timbletot. Still just the size of him. Though I wish he had a more prominent role in this stage alone. Keep moving forward. So once we get extra, we gotta be ready. So it's... Oh! Dang it! Ah, I was distracted. Alright. Let's go. So no Timbletot this time. Actually, he is in the background, so he does still spawn, but he's in the earlier segment. So we're essentially ahead of him for the rest of the stage. I wonder why it's like that. Let's take the high routes, the gem routes, so it's easier. Yep. Alright, here we are again. So this should be the last one. Yep. So after the first bounce pad, don't take the next one. Right here. So that's one. Don't take this one. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, a little bit of action. And there we go. So with that in mind, that should be the final medallion. And I think my watermark's gonna just kind of hide the rest of them. I wonder if I could change that real fast. Because we do need to restart the game. I'm gonna let it re load real fast, just to be sure that everything's saved. Alright, so we're gonna stop the game. We're gonna load back the game again, and I'm gonna switch my settings so we could probably see with the watermark gone for a second. Hopefully I don't mess anything up too much. Let's see. Get rid of this. And that. There we go. So let's see what we're working with. And also, the watermarks, I guess you could call them, or the advertisements. I think advertisements is a better word. They are back. Oh, and there's a little Retro Commander video that he's been there the whole time, but you guys haven't seen. <laughs> uh, I'm but anyways, Monday, yes, that is I'm all the medallions. Three, so with that in mind, we got all the hero medallions, and that's really all there is to it. Since this is the Switch version, we don't get any extra bonus. Just this little nice little detail we get on the title screen. It's a small detail. Some may not like it, but some will go after them, definitely. So, it is pretty cool. I do like that there is this little bit of a... I want to say Easter egg hunt, if you'd call it. And it's cool to see these medallions, but I do wish there was a little more to them, because I guess a title screen's one thing, but you notice that in the beginning there used to be that like little text on the bottom that says, this is where you push the button or something like that. Now it's just the medallions, and I don't know if I like that too much. But for what it is, it is pretty cool. So I'm going to move for a second uh, this way. So there's a commander video, if you can see him just a little bit. And then there's Command Girl video next to me, but you guys saw that. But that is all the tokens. If I'm counting them right, I want to say there's 11, if not 12 of them. 3, 6, 9. I think there's 11 of them. So yeah, that's all the medallions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully it helps you find them. And if you actually enjoyed watching me try to struggle over them, that is also another uh, neat thing, I suppose. But with that in mind, that is all the medallions that the game has to offer. And with that, all the collectibles as well, unless you count the gold and the gems of the channel stages, but I still don't know if I'm able to complete, uh, complete them to their fullest. We'll see what happens when the time comes, but with that in mind, 
I think we're ready to move forward. So then, mind, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. And it's time for the Bitrip series to look very different from what we've seen before.